looks like he had a heart attack. Ellen, you're not breathing. My God, he, he didn't have a pulse. Ellen. Ellen. If we can't give Mr. Craig the code, what's ever inside will be destroyed. I told you I don't know any code. You do. It's just locked in your mind somewhere. Hey, you know me. You remember our daughter? That means your memory hasn't been obliterated. Just try harder. I have tried. That's all I've been doing. Okay. Okay, you know what? We're, we're probably trying to look too hard here. Maybe just, um, just relax. Okay, just relax and, and let your mind wander. Let your thoughts go. Why are you making me do this? Because... The lives of innocent people are at stake, including those of people I care very much about. Now, it can't just be six random numbers, okay? It has to be maybe some kind of a sequence. Maybe maybe a, a birthday or an address or something. It's not there. How did this happen to me? Do you remember being shot by Sonny? Vaguely. Well, you had surgery to repair the damage. What we didn't know until tonight was that there was a straight bullet fragment loose in your brain. That's why you had those blinding headaches earlier. So I brought you here. Now, in the meantime, we found out that Robin Scorpio, one of the hostages, had been shot. Turns out she's Dr. Drake's girlfriend, so he was in a hurry to get you in and out of surgery so you could wake up in time and give us the code. Well, it turns out that he was in too much of a hurry, obviously. So Drake put me in this condition? I could pay for this. Well, I wouldn't make too much of a fuss about it. It could backfire. Oh. Well, what you were moving wasn't your run-of-the-mill breach of law enforcement. You were involved in an act of espionage. If the police were to find out, you could spend the rest of your life in prison. You should go to the lounge and take a look at the news. They're reporting live from the Metro Court. Did something happen? They released your father, and he's on the way here to General Hospital. It appears two civilians somehow broke through a window in the Metro Court. They came out and helped the fallen hostage to safety. No word on how badly the hostage was injured, oh. but the shooting happened. Hey, don't mute it. I can't tell what's going on. Neither could that reporter, and her inane babble is making me crawl out of my skin. Damn it, get the camera away from the looky loose and put it on the man who was wounded. Why would they shoot Dr. Q? How yeah, the hell would I know? They certainly have plenty of other worthwhile candidates, starting with that miserable Corinthos. Well, what were Mr. Luke and Lucky doing running away from the building? I don't... They were mucking things up, as usual. From what the reporter says, it looks like they saved Alan's life. All right, I'm going to the hospital. If I find anything out, I'll call you. Well, so am I. He's my son. I'm going to. going to. Oh, I'm disappointed. Are you trying to miss? Look at me! He shot my father! No, I don't believe he did. Oh, he fell on his own. It doesn't appear that the jolt you gave your father with a defibrillator... You shot him! You were trying to kill him! My father was a doctor! He dedicated himself to saving lives and you shot him! Do you get the difference, you coward? Hiding behind your stupid masks? <laughs> Are you so tough? Let's take it off! You gotta calm down. Calm down. 